If you are what you eat, British Columbians have some work to do. A new study out of Dalhousie University finds that people in this province have some questionable eating habits. Louise Hartland reports. It's supposed to be the first and most important meal of the day. But it turns out for a lot of us, breakfast is anything but. You don't feel bad about skipping breakfast? <laughs> Again, if I've got time, I'll do it. But otherwise, sometimes it's just too difficult. Yeah, I'm not a big breakfast person. People in B.C. are three times more likely to skip breakfast than anywhere else in the country. Just not that hungry in the mornings. There's a cup of coffee and I'm satisfied. The findings are part of a Dalhousie University study, which surveyed 1,019 Canadians over three weeks in April. We wanted to understand what kind of relationship Canadians actually have with, with breakfast, lunch, dinner, with cooking, snacking, uh, how we consume food every single day. Registered dietitian Heather Janicki says skipping meals, especially breakfast, is a bad idea. Well, if you're really, really hungry, you're going to get to work and all you're going to do is think about eating. You're not going to be able to concentrate, you're going to feel sluggish, and some people will overeat later on in the day. Instead, ideally something that's high in fiber and protein. Which will keep you feeling full for longer than something sugary. Another interesting finding, researchers say the more money you make, the less likely you are to eat breakfast out. But those who make the least, less than $40,000, are more likely to get breakfast on the go. The study found age also plays a role in our eating habits. People 40 and younger say they don't have time to prep meals at home, so they go out instead. More often than not, schedule will dictate I gotta go out for the convenience. I often go out for lunch, yes. A trend that's growing with 61% of British Columbians saying they plan to eat out more this year than last. The highest in the country. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.